Boom. Hello, lovely people. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Can so, I hug him any harder? Yeah, I think you can. You can try. You can like do full on hug. Okay. Guys, guys, listen up. <laughs> While Kayla is on cloud number nine, I will start the intro of this video. Please, please. We had the most amazing time in Croatia ever, ever. Mm -hmm. It was full of nice walks, romantic mm -hmm. dinners, boat rides, sightseeing. Yes, it was mm -hmm. amazing. We're gonna tell you a bit about that. But, but, there's a big but. There's a huge but. Before we could really even enjoy that season of our lives, we had to go through mm -hmm. a lot of obstacles yeah. to get to that point. Yeah. And a lot of it really stemmed from not allowing the fears, doubts, and lies mm -hmm. about our hearts and yeah. self-protection, which we're gonna get into <clears throat> later, that we were actually able to push past that so that we could have this romantic, beautiful time in Croatia. Oh yeah, we had to pass through some lies, as Kayla yeah. said. Yeah. So, first things first. Let's go straight to the point, to the lies and to the struggles we mm -hmm. had and that we believe a lot of couples and the people that are starting to date have. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it's the issue of self-protection. Mm -hmm. We fell in love hard and fast. Oh yeah. Four dates. You're, I hope you already seen this video. If not, just go. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> somewhere <There's here. laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> Go check it out. So after four dates, we were already crazy mm -hmm. about each other. Yeah. But that brought some concerns because mm -hmm. I was single for nine years. Yeah. And it was like, hey, after nine years, you don't kind of feel really safe mm -hmm. uh, in giving your heart to other person, mm -hmm. opening up immediately. And we managed to do it after four weeks. So. We had, I had the grace of the Lord that one, in one occasion, I asked him, okay, Lord, help me out. How does this self-protection look like? Yeah. And I remember him showing me a weapon which had no handle. It was just mm -hmm. blades. Mm -hmm. And as I was protecting myself from other people and from the connection with the other people, I was actually hurting myself. Wow. So self-protection, we with self-protection, we're actually hurting our selves because as we are protecting ourselves mm -hmm. we are not allowing anyone to come right, in we're right. building up walls and we cannot have mm -hmm. a deep deep connection so it was really a grace of the lord that we would that we were able to have such a beautiful connection right away but we need to deal with that i needed to deal with mm -hmm. that self-protection but kayla too right yeah for sure I mean, for me, you guys know a little bit of my story. It was different because yeah. I had gone through a series of just unhealthy relationships. So I had all these lies and doubts like, am I actually going to find someone mm. that I can trust with my heart? Because I had been burned so many times. And I just remember like asking the Lord even before I met Mate, like, how in the world am I going to be able to do this? Mm. Right. But like Mate said, it's like through the grace of the Lord. And through the healing that he provided to me before meeting him, that once I met Mate, it wasn't about whether or not we can trust people, right? Because yeah. the fact of the matter is we're all humans and we're going to fall short sometimes, but it's putting our hope and our trust in the Lord yeah, so and yeah. yeah, trusting that the Lord will protect our hearts because we can't protect our hearts. That's As Mate so had that image from the Lord, like we think we're protecting ourselves, but we're actually harming ourselves from the fullness yeah. that God wants us yeah. to live. So that was like a huge thing was saying, okay, Lord, like I trust you. And for any of you that feel again, like how am I gonna enter a relationship either? I've never been in one or I've been in too many. How am I gonna trust? It's less about trusting people and more about yeah. saying, God, I trust you with my heart to protect That's it. That's so good, yeah, because he is our protector. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So after that, like we went through this kind of phase mm -hmm. and after that, we were able to surrender our hearts like yeah. completely, fully give, our, give ourselves to the other person. And yeah. we did long distancing. <laughs> and it was not just maintaining this relationship we had, it was like exponential yeah. growth. Yeah. Whew. See mm -hmm. how it's growing? <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was growing. It. it was exponential yeah. growth. Yeah. Why? Because we learned and what I learned in this period of our lives when we did long distancing before she came to Croatia is hey, I am 
I don't want to lean on her. Mm -hmm. I want to lean on the Lord. Mm -hmm. Because when I lean on her, then I'm expecting from her to give me something that she cannot give me. Yeah. I should be leaning on the Lord so that he satisfies my heart and my soul. Yeah. And so that yeah. then when I'm lean on him, I, I have the ability to love her and to lead her and to serve her the way it's meant to, yeah. the way it's meant to be. Yeah. So, and sorry, yeah. I just wanted to talk about that. The really big thing is like, we would have missed out on such an amazing part mm. of our lives if we had operated under self-protection. Mm. But because we were able to give our hearts to the Lord, like Mate was talking about, that exponential growth, like we had beautiful, beautiful yeah. encounters, like together with the Lord because we weren't living in fear yeah. of each other yeah. or of each other hurting. That's like the biggest fear that we have yeah. in love, especially is like, okay, I care about this person, but I don't want them to hurt me. Yeah. But you actually end up like self sabotaging things. Oh, yeah. And I just feel like, yeah, we had such a beautiful time because we yeah. didn't let that like, you know, hold over our heads. Yeah. I would suggest like ask the Lord, how does self-protection look for me? Mm -hmm. And what am I protecting myself from? Yeah. That's a big one. And quick thing. Sometimes we think that it only has to do with like people, mm. but typically if we're self-protecting from other people, it also represents a breach in our relationship with Father yeah. God. So it's like something that's not just gonna help you with your relationships here on earth, but it's also gonna help you with your relationship yeah. with him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Preacher. <laughs> Okay, okay, now let's go to Europe. Let's fly to Croatia. The fun stuff. <laughs> the fun stuff. We had to be some. We had to we do ha some. Because it's the truth. Stuff. It was our story. It is. It is. We're telling our story. We are. This. We are. Uh, we had our motto from the beginning of our relationship is and was and still is why not like why wouldn't god do that why not why wouldn't be this why wouldn't we like why not why mm -hmm. wouldn't be why wouldn't we believe god so much and like have these big dreams why mm -hmm. not so during our conversation like mm -hmm. casual conversation on like we had look at like what whatsapp something yeah uh we were like why wouldn't you come to croatia like, it would be so fun if you would be here in Croatia. Mm -hmm. We could do so much fun stuff. And she was like... Because, just to pause, to yeah. remind you guys, we were in the summertime before school started in September, yeah. where he was already going to come in yeah. September to the school. So we probably had this conversation in June, like weeks after he left. Yeah. <laughs> and then it led to, let's check out the airplane tickets. <laughs> let's check it just when we were getting to the meat of everything, our battery died. <laughs> so we're back, we're, we're back. back. We're we good. collected ourselves. Yeah. Um, but yeah, long story short, what we were saying was, we were like, why not? And we were like, God, if you want me to come to Croatia this summer, then just open up the doors, open up the time, open up the finances, and that yeah. is exactly what he did. But that's what led us to another set of fears. We were super excited, but then these fears were like, oh my gosh, this is becoming real. Mm -hmm. And tell us about some of the fears that you were like thinking. So I had like, first of all, for me, it was a huge deal because after nine years of being single, yeah. I'm finally bringing this girl home to my parents. You see, it was you, it was you. <laughs> That was huge after nine years, yeah, like, guys, huge. that was huge. And bringing her home to my parents, bringing her home to my friends, it was like big. What are they mm -hmm. going to say? Mm -hmm. Like it was, I felt this kind of pressure, yeah. Yeah. but it was not from the Lord. Yeah. Um, I also had, is she going to like Croatia? Mm -hmm. What is she, why, what if she doesn't like Croatia? Yeah. Is, is she going to think that the life here is good enough for mm -hmm. her? Uh, what are my friends gonna say? It was, yeah, it was, it was a bit stressful. Yeah, it was a bit stressful, but yeah, you you share your fears. Actually, you share your fears. Yeah. Yeah. For me, I was like, okay, this guy has been single for nine years. 
So anybody that meets me, his family, his friends, like are their standards going to be so high because like, wow, this guy was single for nine years. Like this is the girl that he chose. You know what I mean? Because the devil's a liar. So I was thinking- Devil is a liar. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was thinking <laughs> things like that. And then just wondering about the practical things. He's Croatian, I'm American, and I'm brown. So I was like, okay, is that gonna be weird? Am I going to fit in culturally? Are his parents going to love me? Or is his family going to love me? Are they going to accept me? And like, how are we gonna be able to like really connect with mm -hmm. a language barrier? Yeah. So those were a lot of the lies that I had. I was mm -hmm. so excited, but I just had this like, cause again, the devil's a liar, yeah. all these images of like, well, what if I go? And his parents hate me, and then and then what, you yeah. know? Because yeah. it just like one thought just comes into another, into another, into another, yeah. and you're believing crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just yeah. like yeah, when the devil gets you, gets you in this mm -hmm. whirlwind of thoughts, and you just sink yeah. down and down and down. Yeah. Uh, but the truth was completely, completely opposite. Exactly opposite. It was it was the best truth mm -hmm. ever. My family. Like they love you more than they love me. It's it was it was crazy. But let's go first. We're gonna share some pictures from Croatia. We are. But let's start from the airport. This was like the big moment when you came to Croatia, right? Yeah, I love that moment. Tell him. Tell him. Okay, imagine I'm flying, of course, by myself. You know how it is. You're just like tired, exhausted. But I felt like I was in a movie because we had been long distance for two and a half months. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I'm finally going to see him. Of course, I wanted to look beautiful for him. So I remember I went and got these specific things at Ulta so that once I landed, I would like freshen up. I had like face spray, yeah. of course, a lot of perfume because I wanted to smell good. <laughs> I had a cute travel outfit on because I wanted to look like put together and good. And the second that I- And she did. Thank okay. you. <laughs> the second that I walked through the international doors, a little bloop, just opened, <laughs> and I saw his handsome face. And after not seeing each other for such a long time- Two and a like, half months. Right? I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot how handsome he is. Like, I knew he was handsome. Line. I wanted to say that. Oh, well, you can still okay. say it. And then he had the most beautiful bouquet of my favorite flowers. These like ginormous hydrangeas. I've never seen hydrangeas that long. And I it was did. so romantic and so beautiful. I did. Yeah, that was the first moment. I did. It was, I almost, as you said, I forgot how beautiful she was and small and petite. I was like, oh God, I just want to hug you, my small little thing. <laughs> and we... We were crazy. We were actually jumping we were. on the airport. Yeah. We we couldn't care less. Yeah. It was a movie scene. We couldn't stop we, hugging. Each other. We couldn't stop hugging. We were like, oh my god, yeah. this is happening. It was it was a beautiful moment. Hugging, giving each other kisses on the cheek because you guys watched our other video. We're not kissing, kissing. We were just like, mm. and then we literally were walking like to the car like yeah, like, like this. We were so happy. We were like the cheese factory. Yeah, yeah, the we cheese were. Cheese factory. It was beautiful. So. Oh, and when I get to the car, he had my favorite Red Bull flavor and water for me. I was like, this because is so Because she would probably be tired from I her was. trip. I was. I was. It was so cute. Yeah. Okay. Kay. Now, then. Then we get home. We She met my parents. Mm -hmm. And my parents were absolutely crazy in love with her. I love them. I, my dad, he's not a crier. I've seen him cry a couple of times and and in his life and mm -hmm. by the end of the trip just to tell you how much devil is a liar by the end mm -hmm. of the trip my dad we're eating lunch as a family and my dad stops he starts crying and says because he knew mm -hmm. that i was leaving to the states for the school and he says yeah. i thought i will miss you mate but now that I met Kayla, I'm gonna miss her so much. And he starts crying, and I'm like, what's happening? Then and then Kayla, I cry. Kayla starts crying, and my mom and I were like, what is <laughs> happening? It was a beautiful, it's beautiful beautiful moment. But mm -hmm. um, what happened in between was romance. Aww. 10 out of 10. It was perfect. This guy like went above and beyond and planned the most mm. amazing time in Croatia. Croatia in the summer is super romantic. Highly recommend any, you know, married couples out there go to Croatia. But we had romantic dinners, just got a lot of time with each other to just kind of 
regroup and reconnect after being long distance we saw beautiful just natural parts of croatia we got to see like zagreb like the city and then we also got to see istra like this beautiful coastal area and it just blew me away and it was literally it was a movie perfect. like i remember everyone commenting on my like stories being like uh are you living like a hallmark movie <laughs> yes yes i am it was really that nice. is correct it was really <laughs> that is correct <laughs> so yeah <laughs> um, where are we finishing this? What, what are we doing? What? I think our whole message yes. to you guys is just again, as you can see, the beautiful love story that we had. We would not have had this beautiful story go, baby. if we had operated with self protection or fear, doubts, lies. All of these things, like we said in the beginning, they were obstacles. But as long as you take it one day at a time with the yeah. Lord and you just follow his leading and if you have his peace over your life and yeah. over a situation, he will not steer you wrong. Yes. And when you do that, that is when you live life to the fullest yeah. and you will have these moments, whether in romance, in life, career, mm -hmm. ministry, whatever, where you're just like, wow, this is way better than I could have ever dreamed or imagined and I wouldn't mm -hmm. have gotten here if I was you know, operating with fear, yeah. doubt, or lies. And if there's one thing you can carry from this this video is please guys remember god is protector of our hearts yeah that's so good baby it's not my job it's not her job mm -hmm. god is protector of your heart he does a good job he does a way better <laughs> job than we can he does a pretty good pretty yeah. pretty pretty good job yeah. okay you want to do the last I would one love to. come on do it so you guys obviously have noticed this is the our story series so the next week's video that we have we are going to talk about what happened when life's realities kicked in. We had this beautiful mm -hmm. trip in Croatia, but then we started our school time and our school life. And the things yep. that we've learned as a couple going through the realness of life. When the realities hit, we, the fairy tale in Croatia was over and then life hit us. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Guys, we bless you. Yeah. Don't we are praying for you every, every day, night. every night. Yeah. We put you in our prayers. Mm -hmm. So we just bless you and thank you for tuning in with us. Yeah, and thanks for the comments, guys. They're so beautiful. We you love are them. so nice. They make me cry like every day. That's true. Maybe <laughs> 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 do this one. <laughs> okay, okay. Love you guys. Over and out. Love you. Bye. Bye.